Parthenium, popular as gajar ghas or congress grass, is considered among the world's seven most dangerous weeds. It is toxic, allergic, and a prolonged exposure can cause breathing issues, inflammation, burning, and blistering. But did you know this commonly cited plant is not native to India? In fact, it was first spotted in Pune in 1956, which in the plant years is quite recent. In the 1950s, global hunger was a rising issue. To help alleviate the problem, the USA launched the Food for Peace program. This program allowed developing countries to purchase surplus food at low margins. Soon after, countries such as India and Australia reported a massive growth of a poisonous weed, which invaded agricultural lands. This weed, Parthenium, is believed to have come as a contaminant in those food grain shipments. And since then. It has spread over 40 countries across Asia, Africa, and the Pacific regions. Besides humans, parthenium also affects animals. It makes their milk taste bitter. Feeding on parthenium weakens their immune system and harms their liver and kidneys. This plant, with its tiny star-shaped white flowers and hairy leaves, is now noticeable in abandoned lands along railway tracks road sides and even grazing grounds now you must be wondering since the 1950s which is practically not even 80 years how did this one grow so quickly and took over the continent here is how during its lifetime one mature parthenium plant produces anywhere between 10000 to 25000 seeds At any given time in a meter square you can find 2 lakh seeds. These seeds are dispersed by animals, machinery, water currents, vehicles, human movement. And wait, there's more. Parthenium seeds have a half life of 6 years with no dormancy period, meaning they can germinate whenever moisture is available, especially during the monsoon season. It could remain lying in the ground for years and then sprout out one fine day suddenly. Also, when it invades a place, it grows aggressively and quickly outcompetes the native plants. This can be attributed to allelopathy, a unique phenomena where chemicals coming out of the plant negatively affect the growth of the neighboring plants. According to a study, parthenium now has invaded almost all Indian states. Presently, it has spread over 35 million hectares in the infested areas. It has resulted in a loss up to 40% crop production, and in non-crop areas, a loss up to 90% of forage production. The estimated cost of controlling this weed is about 15,000 to 20,000 crores annually. To put this in perspective, the annual allocation to MOEFCC to tackle all environmental challenges, including the parthenium problem, is about rupees 3,000 crores annually. Research shows 65% of the Indian land is suitable for this plant to flourish, especially ecologically sensitive Himalayas, northeastern states, and peninsular India. So many evil things. You must be wondering, is this plant good for anything at all? Well, the answer would have been no. But recent studies found that feeding parthenium to silkworm has actually improved the production of silk. In some places a decoction of parthenium has been used to treat inflammation, malaria and diarrhea. What are the natural ways of containing parthenium from spreading? Ongoing research has now been looking at how parthenium spread can be controlled. Some studies with on-field trials show plants like amaltas, charota, ban tulsi and marigold can compete and replace the seed. Some leaf-eating beetles have also been successfully shown to attack and eradicate parthenium however finding effective and economic ways to neutralize hectares of parthenium may take some more time and a lot more research Help us spread the word and share this video with friends and family who would care. Thanks for watching.